Yes, in my middle twenties I began to develop a drinking problem, but I didn't really acknowledge it to myself until I was about 30. I'm now 58. Well, my name's Susan. <laughs> I'm 45. I've been in Doherty Project for just over three years. Before I come to Doherty, I wasn't living nowhere. I was drinking heavily. I was sofa surfing and my life was practically non-existent, actually. I was drinking in binges and then I would lay off it. I, I would drink for about a week, ten days, until the money ran out. And then I would not have the appetite for drink again for another couple of months. And then I would drink every day for ten or twelve days. And then stop. But my life got so restricted because I would get up in the morning and if it was sober enough to make it to the off licence, I would go to the off licence, buy a drink, come home, drink it until I became oblivious to what was going on around me and then do it again the next day. And that went on for many, many years until I began to become a danger to myself because I started leaving things on the stove and almost ca causing fires until I, it got to the stage where I was almost going to be evicted. I was taken to court, but... Um, Nothing came of that, but eventually um, they put me in touch with great places and within about three months I became um, a client of great places and I've been with them now just about five years. Plus I feel like I'm getting my confidence back. With, with drinking it does slow you and being on the streets and that and, and all of other things, but since I've been here, I'm getting the support I want. I feel a lot better and it helps me get better and build my confidence up. Even my family's noticed the difference. When I got my place here, I got a flat here. Oh God, it was brilliant. First time I got my flat, I had one set of clothes on my back and luckily enough I had some pyjamas on my daughters. So I had a shower, put my pyjamas on and put the things in the washing machine. And it was brilliant, just to have a place to call you home. So, I'm, I'm quite happy being here. And plus I know I'm getting the help and not... I've, I've waited a long time to get the help I needed. But since i come here, I'm getting it. I've just got more motivation than I had before. I used to go to the alcohol team. But, you know, I wasn't drinking every day at that point, so I didn't really need detox or anything like that. But... You know, a lot of times when you don't drink, it's due to doing things here like cooking, going walking and, you know, doing other different activities to rather than sit there getting drunk every day. No, I drink's plan, plus the walking club and the, the outreach and whatever, the little things when they ask me to volunteer for, I enjoy doing it and that helps, plus the cycling they do. Um. I'm better than I was. I don't live at the project, I live in the dispersed property, but um, I'm much more able to look after myself and I don't drink to the extent that I do drink. At the present time I haven't had a drink for just over three months, so hopefully that will go on, although at the back of my mind I always know that I will drink again. If the support I'm getting, I'll go back to the drink. And that's always, that back of my mind, that's always been scary for me. Because I don't want to go back to the way I was. And that, so, that's why I'm glad I get the support I need and I'm getting the Doherty Health. And um, since I've been here, I've had my ups and downs, you know, it wasn't easy to start with, but I got a lot of help from Doherty. If it weren't for Doherty, I don't know where I'd be now. I'd probably be living on the road somewhere. Now, it's been brilliant. There's not a lot of things I can say, to be honest, but from there, I've done well. I had a lot of debt problems, and then eventually I got a move on to a house. 
and the future's looking brighter. And that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm um, I've been here, near, near done to my family. And plus Doherty House is open to get to see him more often. And that, so I'm quite pleased with that. I would like to be able to give it up permanently or drink in a controlled manner. But I don't think I ever, able, ever will be able to do that. I better look a bit stupid and lost for words. Can't think of what to say.